Okay, this problem is finding x and y intercepts of a line given the equation. This is the basic. So luckily, remember when we were doing the um, topic in standard form? This is in standard form. You have x and y on the left-hand side and then constant on the right-hand side. That is standard form. And when I was doing the problem before I was using 0 for x and 0 for y because I didn't have it in the form y equals something where I could tell if there was a fraction in front of x or not. Okay, I don't have it in that form so I can't decide to use x and then the denominator in front of x. Okay, I don't have that luxury. So instead we used 0 for x and 0 for y. Now, if the x coordinate is 0 in a graph, that means that I my x coordinate is zero, then my point is either gonna land on the y-axis above, it's gonna land on zero, zero, or below, okay? But in any case, this point right here is going to be the y-intercept. And similarly, if my y value is zero, that means it cannot go up or down, my point would either go to the left or go to the right, but it, which means that that point would be the x-intercept. So you already had the setup for finding the x and y-intercepts. And so now literally it's just a matter of doing the exact same thing that we did in the other topic, except how we write our answer will be, will be different, okay? Before we drew the graph, this time we actually have to tell them the x-intercept is this, and the y-intercept is that. So they want to know those values, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is plug in zero for x, and I get zero minus six y, or negative six y equals six, divide by negative six, get y equals negative one. That is the y-intercept, so I now know what value goes here. Then I'm going to plug in 0 for y. So I get 3x minus 0 equals 6, or just 3x equal to 6. Divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 2, and that is the x-intercept. And now we have found our answers.